All right, people. So here is the deck profile for Silent Swordsman. This is the Ignite version. Uh, I did do a PK version of it, but I mean, it's just Silent Swordsman thrown in with Phantom Knights. I mean, there's not much to say about that. But no, the Ignite one I thought would be a little bit more interesting, a little bit more Silent Swordsman involved, and really an inspirational to uh, what deck will be replacing it, which is Silent Magician. So pretty much instead of uh, Ignites and Silent Swordsman, who needs warriors, we are doing uh, Silent Magician and the uh, uh, Pendulum Magician. So I can go ahead and Pendulum Summon, you know, four, and then, you know, unlike this deck where, uh, you know, I'm trying to go under five and six, four, it goes to eight, level up, you know, you'll see it, you'll see it. But uh, no, I thought the Ignite version would be a little bit better. Go ahead and throw in not just four, I mean, not just a regular one, but throw in Pendulum Summon five, and flip that Dark Damage, Summon six, so... I mean, 7-7, seven, seven, so that's what I thought would be a pretty good idea. You can clearly see the, the deck count's kind of high, 48, but there's a lot of cards in here that are one-for-ones, and of course, since we're over 40, we gotta run that obligatory pot of cupidity. There's some cards that I totally don't mind getting rid of, so uh, getting that plus two is nice as well. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the deck profile. If you guys wanna go ahead and take this deck out and, and play it and have fun with it, and more power to you. So, of course, we're running... Um, Three of each of the Ignite monsters that are not the level uh, three one. So the level three one is not being uh, played. Uh, just because I'm not really into making rank three plays, it's more of a four and up deck, so I left them out. But, uh, you know, uh, still, oh, <laughs> uh, still good nonetheless. Sorry, that was, that was involving the Yu Gi Oh! 2 draft league. Uh, that was on Discord. Anyway, so. Of course, we're doing the Ignite plays. I thought, you know, Ignites uh, can get your Pendulum Scales. They're, pen they're strong because they're Pendulum. Uh, their Scales are nice between 2 and 7, so I can go ahead and Pendulum 7 my Silent Swordsman level 5. And uh, they're Warriors, so I can go ahead and tribute them off for, my, of course, my Silent Swordsman. So, yeah. Run one of our Ignite uh, Champion. Uh, I wouldn't run him if we didn't have, of course, Ignite Unite. So I was like, with Ignite Unite, go ahead and target with my Ignite cards I control. Just pop it and then summon. Uh, summon Champion. Champion return Ignite uh, Monster from on the field back to my hand and then place a monster on my field and put it to the bottom of the deck non-targeting spinning back to the deck is great 28 beard nothing to complain about gets a little bit cloggy so that's why i only run one plus it's not the focus of the deck so let me run two silent swords level seven three five because i want to pendulum summon five when this card inflicts down damage to your opponent which may be possible especially with what monsters i'm pendulum summoning uh during my next stamina phase i can go ahead and have this guy level up to seven uh, of course, it's kind of wonky as a tag deck, but, you know, the idea is there nonetheless. You can also play level up if you want to, but it might not be necessary if you're just going to get the direct tech in and level up. Uh, so, I guess your opponent would have to, I mean, your partner would have to inflict a direct attack with Silent Sword level 5, and then your next time by phase, it would go up to 7, which, of course, negates all phase of, uh, negates all spell cards on the field. Very powerful, very powerful. May hurt your opponent, may hurt you a little bit, but still, very powerful. I mean, it doesn't negate your uh, your pendulum summon. Just negates their you know pendulum effect to pop and get the search. But you know, still good. I mean, your twenty eight B then negates spells. No complaints there. Uh, we run triple other silent swordsman, the regular tributed monster special summon it. Gains five hundred attack every standby phase and uh, negates this spell card during either player's turn. Very powerful when it's destroyed with the battle by card effect. I summon a silent swordsman from my deck or hand, ignoring summoning conditions. So uh, pretty much, I could just bust out a level seven that way too. Royal Magical Library, it's freaking Ignites, you know, especially, I wasn't playing at first, but since we're going over uh, the 40 card count and throwing Power Computer, we might as well throw in cards that will help the deck, so Royal Magical Library, go ahead and, you know, put them counters on, draw, 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 you know, Ignites, come on. So Nevergeki, of course, Power Cupidity, I'm not the biggest fan, but like I said, this isn't really a combo-based deck, but more of just a, a deck of resources and plays, so you can go ahead and throw in Power Cupidity, if you really don't care what you banish, I mean, all these cards, they're fine to banish, and draw two, get that Pot of Greed, and uh, kind of feel like more of an OCG deck setting. I mean, they run triple Pot of Cupidity in almost every deck, so why not this deck, right? Uh, Summer's Art, got some five and some sixes, so go ahead and get that, even out. Uh, uh, I don't see Rhoda in here, I think I accidentally took out Rhoda. Rhoda should be in here, Rhoda should definitely be in here, Daniel, like... I, I, I had it in here, and I think I might accidentally took it out, so I guess you can up this to 49, or if you want, and you feel like it, which of course you've been seeing, you can go ahead and play the upstart as well, so there you go, 50 card deck, why not, why not, 50 card deck, uh, 3, Ignite, Unite, Destroy, Summon, Great Card, uh, your Silent Sword, uh, it's great as well, uh, increase your Silent Swordsman up by 15 permanently, attack and defense, so you can have this guy be like 1,000, and you can go gain like, a you know, 500 during your opponent's turn. So, 15, your opponent tries attacking him. Silent Sword, go up to 3,000. 
3,000 monster that negates spells, unaffected by card effects, then the turn bans this card, get a silent chosen search. It's all good, but this card, definitely great. Much better than the uh, silent magician spell card that I am definitely not playing, because rule number one, never let your opponent draw. Rule number two, never let your opponent draw. So despite silent magician being selected, we're not playing that. And... Um, yeah, just a great card. Great card for Silent Swordsman. It's actually one of the reasons why you definitely want to try Silent Swordsman. Triple Turn Twister popped that back row, and we are running Rational Bottomless and Treacherous Trap Hole. You can also put the Silent Brigade in there if you want, but I kind of felt like, you know, it's more of, a, uh, of an aggressive deck that uh, Solomon, opening up multiple Silent will kind of slow it down. So just these and going to Raph would be enough. Uh, of course, we got our obligatory Dweller Castel, uh, Giant Hand just in case, uh, Rom because it's Ignite, Utopia, Utopia the, uh, where's Utopia Lightning? Oh, there he is, Utopia Lightning. I guess I threw in a raid just in, just because I felt like it, because you have extra room, uh, Dark Rebellion, Wrath, uh, then number 21, Frozen Lady, stop, put this on top of a, uh, my Clyde Monster by Attacking Sea Material, just show I'll set, um, Defense Position Monsters, because the opponent might go on the defensive against this deck. Or with your partner, Locosaurus, got a charger, uh, and some sixes. You got that uh, that M7 and that uh, the Photon Strike Bouncer, and the number 24 Dragon, Nosferatu Dragon is so, you know, he's pretty good as well. He's probably one of the better uh, generic rank sixes, so yeah. And uh, there you go, people. So uh, I wanted to get maybe another month of this deck, but uh, you guys have spoken. Uh, and uh, there goes another message from this guy, that token like you here guy, just pop it in my videos, god damn it. <laughs> uh, but uh, the way that uh, this deck works, I mean, go ahead and try it out for me. Tell me what you guys think, you know, in the comments below, if you guys test out this deck. Uh, I wanted to try it out. I actually made this right after I tried it out as a 40 card deck and I was like you know what let's up it let's up the consistency of all the plays and stuff like that and then I was like maybe you can get another month it didn't so sadly it's off as being replaced like I said by Silent Magician uh, so we'll see how that does in comparison but I got a lot of influence for that deck from this deck and hopefully that does well as well so that video should already be up we're gonna be tagging of course I apologize about the clickbait uh, <laughs> thumbnail but it was the only image of the Silent Magician I could find that you know fit to that scale and I was like it's not bad so we'll go with it but uh, yeah, look forward to that. Uh, if you haven't checked out already, all right. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of oh, well, not episode, but uh, deck profile for Ignite Silent Swordsman. Thanks for watching, thanks for support, and uh, see you guys tomorrow with more deck profiles, deck profiling, skull servants, and I believe we are playing Electromagnetic Warrior. So that should be fun. All right, people, thanks for watching.